Right, so here's my setup. Here's my meth lab setup. So resistance is set there, one prongs on, water's coming up to the boil, 89 degrees. Um, every time I touch it, it's not open yet. I know it doesn't open um, this early, I'm pretty sure. That's touching, that's not. So we'll wait again. I'll come back on at 94-ish, uh, 94, 95, and see what's happening there. Just gone past 95, so at 96 now. Ooh, okay. So that's opened. Right, off. This is 97. We'll see if we can catch it as it comes down. So that's still that's still open. We'll see what temperature it drops out so I'll just come on and off of the video as it gets to a degree at a time okay 95 still open 90 oh, it's dropping quite quickly now I think I'll just keep an eye on the temperature and watch till it closes 93 Well, 93.1. Oh, it's clipped off. And there you go, 91. Okay, it's wicked. Um, wicked. So that means that we know that well, A, it works, and B, it opens about 90 something and, and closes at 91. Um, perfect. Okay. Okay, um, what I'd like to talk about now is the um, expansion tank. So if I wanted to derive a car builder solution, simple enough tank, there's a little rod inside that goes up to about here obviously for the overflow but otherwise the uh, other fitting in the bottom the right hand side there just fills the tank so I want it somewhere somewhere in here um, and of, there's nowhere obviously that it's going to mount to anywhere useful I mean I don't want it right down low there's no clear space you've got the steering rack there you've got the camera compensating front bits everything's kind of got to be free to move so what I'm thinking is that I will Cut this bracket off, just cut the weld there, cut the weld there, it's only that's where it's joined. Polish it all up or clean it up. Um, get a little flat plate, cut a little bolt on here on top of this. So I've got a bit of 4mm sheet, so it's 25mm wide by about 120mm long, which will cover this whole section. And in the middle, vertically up, a bit of channel, aluminium channel. So that will come up here, and I weld that down the side of the... Uh, of the expansion tank so I should be able to line it up approximately that kind of position with directly over there so let's have a look so the bits and pieces I've got okay so that's a little bit of channel which effectively will be cut to shape just notched a little bit welded on the side of that this bracket will be gone off and cleaned and this is the plate which I've already marked 25 mil 120 mil so I'll cut that, mark the holes in it to match up the bolt pattern which holds the steering rack, clean this off while I'm cutting that, and then mark out roughly how high I want it and cut the piece of channel, and mark out exactly where I want it, I want it at 90 degrees or an angle, and then um, yeah, cut it to size and I can get Gareth to weld it all up when I'm ready. That's this. Um, that's the framework or the, the mounting bracket cut off of there. Um, I didn't actually cut touch this which is good, so I shall... Um, well, I'll clear this off now with um, a paddle uh, paddle wheel and then, yeah, clean it up, ready to, uh, well, decide where to weld it again. And the next bit that's going to be welded will be welded somewhere here just to hide some of this. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll crack on with that. That paddle wheel made quick work of that. So that's nice and cleaned off now. So you can, well, you can see where it was at the moment because it's fresh. Otherwise, there's a little bit of a scratching underneath that bracket. So I'll just give that a flat over. There we go. So now I'll have to um, cut the, cut the piece here and uh, the flat bit 
and then get the holes in it. We'll have a look under here. So I've put the jack on the steering arm, the steering rack, just to hold it in place. No extra pressure, just to hold it there. Dropped out the two bolts this side that keep the rack up. Um, so I've got access to this piece. That's where the aluminium is going to go. So now I just need to mark the 8 mil bolts. Uh, I'll just take a measurement of those. So I need to mark roughly where the holes are. Drill one, and then I mark up from underneath where the second one will be. Then that can go back on there with the bolts down through. And then I'll mess around with the can up here, roughly where I want it, and line up where the um, vertical post is going to be. Draw some lines again, and then get ready for Gareth to weld it. So yeah, this is a bit of a quick one, actually. It's the first quick job I've had in ages, which is a bonus. There's the plate in there now, with the two bolts in. Simple job. So now I need to mock up this piece of angle um, with the bottle, but this is more than a one-hand job. So um, obviously the bolts aren't up tight until I've got this kind of mocked up as to which position I want it, how high I want it. And then once I'm happy enough, I'll probably tape it onto this upright, just have a look at it from a distance. Just prop it in place, and then once I'm all good, I'll mark the bottom, cut this, notch it out because there's a, a weld, see around the edge of here, which will make it not sit flush, or just notch this out slightly. Once I'm happy, um, it'll get welded. It's mocked up, held in with tape, uh, about the, the height that I want it. So it's just a, just a bit in line with the um, radiator hose. That's the plate down there, roughly the right angle. The nozzle that goes to the overflow on the radiator cap is this one at the front. The one at the back, which will run right just down inside the um, angle at the leg, will be the overflow to floor, so I can have that hose nicely snuck away down there, the nice little black Jubilee clip at the bottom, so it can just go over if it needs to. And this one um, will just then come out in a loop, come out the side of the tank, which I'll hold it there, and it'll just come over the back and onto here. So it's nice and neat. Access to it from the side. Let's have a look at it from this way. And it's, it's gonna be powder coated. I'll probably have it done black. The whole thing I'll just unbolt once it's welded, um, take it to the guys and do the rest of the car. And just, yeah, get it all done. I think it looks, looks nice, like it's supposed to be there. Well, it has to be there, so um, yeah. I think that's right, and that's the job pretty much done. I'll show you once uh, Gareth's welded it. Right, here we go. So Gareth's just welded on my angle to my pot, right line where I want it to be. Just nice, nice clean welds. Um, and you put a little gusset in there just to make it a bit stronger. I welded it onto the plate as I asked for. So that's cool. So that will stand up there now <clears throat> with more strength than I'd I'd planned. Well, I didn't think it needed it, but obviously Gareth said that uh, he'd recommend having the gusset. And you can see I've got some... 8mm silicon hose. So this one here will just be the overflow, so that'll just run down just below the chassis. So it's just a straight piece, which is why it's in this corner. So it'll be nice and cable tied and tucked out of the way. And the other one here will go up to the radiator fill cap. So I think I'm going to um, attach this, we'll bolt this to the chassis, drop the steering uh, rack bolts out, put it back in, and then I'll do a little film of um, see how it looks, and then we can measure up the size of the silicon hose. Alright, there you go then. So that's bolted down there, nice and tight. It's a slight movement because that's on a on a stanchion, but it's fine. So I've got the rubber hose on the um, there you go, focus there. On the overflow on the 20 pound lid, so this is the bypass. So this will be down. I'm gonna just do a nice little um, nice little bend up onto there. This will be powder coated black when it's all done under the engine bay because everything else will be white. And, um, so yeah, I think I'll end up just having it probably a a cable tie of some kind just around it to keep it nice and neat there's a nice little 180 there then the rest of it will be coming down off the back one down inside this and it'll just go inside probably maybe through that hole in the chassis just so you know if it does need to overflow it's just cleaning away from everything else so i think i will measure up cut the pipe put a bit of cable tie around and make it nice and tidy um, and show you then should be all good have a look so that's the silicon pipe on a couple of cable ties just to hold it in place onto the in put one and then then the back there's the output one which goes through that thing and I've just trimmed it about half an inch underneath there so it'll stay in place but if anything does overflow it's nice and clean out away from the car onto the floor so yeah I'm quite happy with that